Hello, um, it's Jude. I'm going to draw a picture of a fleet carrier and I believe a chieftain. I didn't quite spot it at first. It had to be pointed out to me. But yeah, I could tell it was a fleet carrier. It was coming out of witch space. So uh, I've, I've seen that with various fleet carriers. There's different types of fleet carrier, but basically they're all, they're all your own little mini portable space station, like a mega ship, but it's yours and you control where you take it and when. I quite like doing pictures where you've got an awful lot of engine flare and, and glow because it, it really messes with the colour of space around it. I enjoy doing that blending of dark blue and purple and black together. It, it gives it a little bit more punchiness which is quite enjoyable and um, I, I, I'm not particularly good at doing lens flare effects to be honest but um, I, I quite like that horizontal band you get. Kind of really silly thing to mention but it, the blue is a bit more purpley than I've actually done here in the original picture and it's a lot darker. I always seem to do things brighter because because for me I want to do all the detail and I ended up doing um, things brighter than they need to be because I've lightened the image on the screen to copy it but then I, I invariably forget and do everything a bit brighter than it should be. Um, but obviously when it's dark I can't really see it so it, it, it mucks it up a bit but it's not that bad. It's all right. I mean it's still it's still more or less the same same colours. It's just it's it's just not quite got that kind of grandeur of the darkness behind it. Sorry, doggy. They can fly 500 light years at a pop, which is more than really you can do in a ship in one jump. However, it takes a while for the witch space engine to to spool up, and then the jump to happen, and then it will cool down again. So that's quite quite a long period of time you're using for that big long jump. So I mean, if you were intended to get somewhere fast, you, you'd just take a ship with a really good frame shift drive and and do a few jumps of sixty light years or something. You'd be there in ten minutes, twenty minutes. But for saying that, you wouldn't be there with a space station, a space station with all of your all of your ships on it, and somewhere you can repair, and somewhere you can rearm and potentially somewhere that you can buy another ship if you wanted to. If you'd, if you'd forgotten to bring a ship out and you happen to have a shipyard installed. So it is streets ahead of just travelling on your own with your own spaceship. It's just a completely different thing. They cost five billion, five billion credits. So uh, that's, that's, that's crippling for your average pilot. That's a lot of credits. It's, it's going to take a while to um, make that money back and that's the base carrier cost that doesn't include your redemption office or your commodities market and it doesn't include your outfitting or your or your advanced maintenance any of those things you've got to pay for those separately and everything you staple on is going to cost a little bit more in terms of weekly maintenance so you could be you could be spending upwards of 10 million a week easily just to keep that thing floating in the vacuum. But for all that, I, I think they're wonderful. I think they're fabulous. It was intended to be for a squadron and squadrons and fleet carriers got a little bit separated along the way. There was some rejigging and rethinking. Still usable for the squadron, which is good, but there will always be an owner, someone who can control it totally. It's not gonna be a small community's carrier that they can share the ownership of. It's always going to be one person's. But you can plonk it right by a war zone with your community and then everyone can use it as a space station really conveniently, which is ideal. You can also use it as a place to um, sell your minerals when you're out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, there's loads of, um, there's loads of utilisations for it and they're a really good addition to the game, I think. I like the way they use the old-fashioned witch space tunnel, uh, like you used to get in the bad old days before the, the frameshift drive was developed correctly. And they just use the aquarium fuel, we assume, that just forces a hole in witch space and they just drop into that and then they navigate their way through. I like that. I like, I like the effects that they've created for the, the carrier as it goes into the witch space tunnel and comes out. It's not like your little zippy zappy pop of the spaceship that you do. Although that is great. It's got that Doctor Who wibbly wobbly timey whammy thing going on. That's great. But that the black cloud 
the, the, the sense of the rending of the fabric space that just is fabulous with the fleet carrier I love I love the way that it just it seems to materialize it seems to apparate in a sinister way out of the black it's just it, it's so momentous and so ominous and and the sound design is so cool it really gives you the chills when it arrives <laughs> 